So I bought this thing because, I mean, look at it. It looks just fantastic. But I bought it to shoot my coworkers in the face. Okay, maybe not the face, but I'm going to shoot my coworkers with it. Am I going to get in trouble? Maybe. Especially because I'm going to do this. Yeah, buddy. Those are getting stuffed inside of those somehow. And I'm going to make a super janky trigger. And yeah, we'll uh, see how it goes. It's probably going to fly like an actual RPG uh, everywhere except where you want to hit. We'll find out. That's actually not a bad size. I mean, that's pretty big. That's bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's not too shabby. Um, I wish that moved. Ah, I want to make it move, but I don't want to spend any time on it. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll find like a momentary button and just put a button on there. But that would cost money. And I don't know. I'll probably just show you when I'm like halfway done. Look at this. Rocket motor? Oh, wow. What? There's a lot of not rocket motor in there. That's going to get cut out. Look at this. It's freaking perfect. This is the best idea. Now, if I remember, I'll post some actual rocket science right now. If I don't or I was lazy, there was just a pause for no reason and I wasted a few seconds of your life. Um, yeah, all the weight's going to be right about there. The thrust is going to be there. The center of pressure is going to be there. Which is probably not anywhere close to actual rocket science, and that's really not aerodynamic. So it's probably going to spiral completely out of control. But I mean, I'm okay with that. It'll be fun. I just shot this in my garage for fun, completely stock. Um, it really doesn't go far on its own, but... Uh, fun surprise these missiles are perfectly balanced and they glide and they glide really well and they glide Not straight they, gl they glide level it definitely doesn't shoot straight, but it shoots pretty level So uh, yeah, you know not bad It's definitely not gonna win you a nerf war, but if you're just playing for fun and you want a freaking RPG with a shark face on it score so this is what powers the whole thing, but what I found out is it doesn't do anything until right about there is where it finally starts to engage. Like nothing with my thumb plug until right there it finally starts to generate some pressure. So hypothetically, if you wanted to make this way better and move a much larger volume of air in there, you could get a way thicker o-ring and put it in there there's plenty of room hypothetically but don't try this at home don't shoot your co-workers in the face don't shoot anybody at all are we clear i do not condone my own behavior all right quick rundown that thing's loaded wires there wires there this thing used to be an aux cord uh, aux on both ends actually. I think it was from my computer screen. Uh, hope I don't need it because uh, Yeah Anyway wire on that wraps down through there underneath there back around through there Nine volts are gonna go in there those two so I'll have 18 volts. That's gonna run through there ground that down more wires run through there Triggers getting cut out. Super, super janky triggers getting put in. I mean, if it fits, it ships. It's Fortnite, right? Everything's made out of garbage anyway. Sticking true to the theme. I've never actually played Fortnite, but it actually looks like fun. I'm not going to hate on it. Uh, yeah, that's where we're at. This is super janky. What I planned on doing was not wiring all of that before I did all this. Um, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. So you can tell the one wire is there onto the trigger and the other wire is on that thing. That's not connected to that yet. But, uh, you know, for making it out of junk, a head laying around, that's actually pretty great. 
and I did it exclusively with hot glue. Am I YouTubering right yet? Does this make me an official YouTube maker? I think it does. I could have cut down the thing inside, but I still wanted this to work like it normally would, which took some work to do on the inside and make the wires clear when it compresses back together. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what she looks like. Almost didn't trim that enough, and if I wouldn't have, that would have hit the trigger and set it off. As you, Thankfully, though, you can tell I didn't set it off putting it together, doing the sketchy wiring or assembling it, so that's good. Uh, now I got to try to convince my girlfriend to video while I test fire it. Couldn't convince my girlfriend to do it. Um, can't find my safety glasses. All I can find is a really flimsy face shield, so I'm going to cover my eyes. I close my eyes. Let's hope this works. I am actually terrified right now. I'm just aiming at the center of the garage over there. you can tell it's a little smoky in here now that was awesome um, as much as I'd love to video shooting that at my coworker, uh, there's a bunch of sensitive stuff where I work that I can't show anybody and I don't want physical evidence of me doing this at work and shooting my coworker because that's bad eyewitnesses yeah whatever so yeah that was fantastic Hmm. Hang on, let's forgot something. Oh my god. Well, uh Okay, hang on. Yeah, there used to be a lot more back there. That's pretty cool. I gotta buy some more of these. It just melted it so well. The fins are still there, though. No wonder it flew so well. That's awesome. And just like that, you'd never even know. I forgot to put that piece on. Right there. Can't even see the wires in there. Well, you can't. I barely can. They're in there, though. Oh, yeah. One thing. <laughs> the one thing about this is check out these sweet sights, right? It's so, hang on, hang on, jeez, it's so inaccurate without the rocket, the rocket actually made it more accurate, which is hilarious to me, they didn't even put anything in there, what the deuce nerf, what the deuce, that's my one complaint about this thing, here is an update, I wasn't going to do this, but might as well. I bought some of these. I bought these ones because they have this sweet little tip that kind of looks like the detonator on a real RPG. Um, yeah, and I bought these, which are the most powerful 18 millimeter rocket motors that I could possibly find. They're composite instead of black powder. The problem is, I don't think I can cut them down, so they're actually going to be at basically the back end of the rocket which will probably make it even more unstable and I have some other absolutely terrible ideas that I want to do um, I should wait until I go to Nevada though because they're kind of a fire hazard and an explodey hazard um, yeah so at some point in the future that's going to happen and another update I've had the Nerf RPG hang on there's a here right there there we go they work for quite a while now, and almost immediately I tried to shoot my coworker, and it hooked hard right and hit my boss square in the face. <laughs> ah, it was fantastic and bad. 
<laughs> um, yeah. I surprisingly did not get fired or anything. He he was like mad just based on if something hitting you in the face is gonna make you mad, but otherwise he was surprisingly cool with it. <sighs> so yeah, I did hit my coworker in the face, my boss. So yeah. Ah, wish I would have had it on video. She turned me into a newt. A newt? I got better. Really surprised they're not moving. Cool. And there's Austin. He just came out of like down there somewhere. I thought he died. I've been hanging out a while hoping he was alive. And he is. Good news. things I do for good video. Pretty sure what I'm standing on is an outcropping above the ground down there. It's a little sketchy. <laughs> <laughs>